going to go in reverse order, so you guys will be first. All right, so I hope you're doing well. Like, share, subscribe. Thank you for the continued support, Pisces. And new subscribers, welcome. Thank you. Sometimes I say bad words. If it offends you, hard left to Sesame Street, as I always say. There's got to be a Sesame Street tarot channel. There has to be. Find it. Let me know about it. If not, hang out. Have some fun. Get your messages. And let's take a look at your love life. All right, this is for August 1st through August 15th, 2018. So those of you that are new to my channel, I run monthly specials. This month, it's the phone reading. All the info is below. You go right to my website and book. It is a one-hour phone reading with pretty good savings. So if you want to check it out, my August is starting to fill up. But you can book it for any time. My Instagram is below, too, because I'm going to start doing live readings. All right, let's check it out. So I pre-shuffled. Let's get the energy moving. And take a look. What's up for Pisces in love? August 1st through August 15th, 2018. Checking it. All right, coming in. What do we have? Ooh, we have the big fat devil. Sign of Capricorn. What is the challenge to that devil is the page of swords. All right, what's on your mind, Pisces? It's the seven of cups in reverse. There's your water energy. What happened in the recent past? The Knight of Wands happened in the recent past. Sagittarius energy. What's the situation? Why is all this happening? King of Swords in reverse. All right, I'm going to adjust the camera. I will. Coming into the near future, what do you have? The Four of Swords in reverse, Pisces. How do you see yourself right now? What's up? Page of Wands in reverse. More fire. Leo Sag Aries. So what's going on in your environment? What energy are they bringing your way? The Magician. Virgo Gemini energy. All right, Pisces, what's in your emotions? What's going on? The Queen of Wands, ooh, feeling confident. Could be a fire sign, maybe a fire in your chart. What's the outcome? The Two of Pentacles in reverse. All right, let's check it out. What's at the bottom of the deck, Pisces? We have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, and I saw the Strength in reverse sign of Leo. A lot of fire in this reading. Let's move you down and over a little bit. And let's just move you back, too. Why not? All right, overall energy, we have the seven of pentacles in reverse. Somebody's tired of waiting. They think something's a disappointment or a waste of time. There was an investment, and now it's like, well, that sucked. It didn't work out, and I'm tired of waiting. Disappointed. All right, let me take a look at this real quick and see what's going on. <clears throat> All right, coming in, we have the devil, right? So, of course, major for Capricorn, but this is like unhealthy shit, right? Or it's feeling very tied and bound to a person, restricted, obsessed, you know, that kind of shit. Or there's just toxicities within the relationship. That can be anything that's unhealthy. The challenge is the Page of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. The Page of Swords, it, it's communication. Somebody's keeping an eye on somebody, probably. It's truthful communication that comes in. But also the Page of Swords is, um, all the pages in tarot are students. It's inquisitive, very curious energy. Somebody feels a very strong connection and they're keeping an eye on somebody is what I'm getting right away <laughs> because they can't let go. There's something toxic going on here. All right. Cause what's on your mind though is reality. Basically seven of cups in reverse. You see the reality of the situation. I don't feel like this is you feeling like you don't have options. I think you see things clearly, you know, the truth of the situation. Because the recent past, you have the Knight of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries, Energy. Maybe somebody wasn't about a commitment, okay? Usually that Knight of Wands is in pursuit of something. That Knight of Wands is a traveler. They do not like to sit still. They're coming, they're going, traveling. Don't want to be tied down. It's very hard to get that energy to, you know, to tie them down. Get a bad rap for being a player. But also, I mean, the Knight of Wands in Tarot is also very confident. They go for what they want, but they're also exiting, right? All the Knights are coming and they're going. Sometimes the Knight of Pentacles are hanging out for a while, but it's movement, pursuing something. So it could have been that you were dealing with that energy and somebody just left, right, because of it. Because in the foundation, this is all happening due to this King of Swords in reverse. Who's this player? Who's this joker? King of Swords in reverse. If it's not an air sign, it's somebody that's very detached. King of Swords in reverse, it's not my favorite card, i got to say. It's somebody that can be um, abusive. With communication, they can be verbally abusive, a liar. Um, somebody's very detached, very cold, you know, will tell you you look fat when you don't. It's just, it's that kind of energy, and it's very much detached and cold. Okay, there could have even been some sort of abuse. I mean, with the devil and the king of swords, I'm just saying. For, this is not for everybody, all right? 
So if it's not your story, it's not. But it's a message for someone. I'm just saying there's something toxic going on here. And somebody's not nice. And it's in the foundation. All right. Even Pisces, this could have even been you with that Knight of Wands exiting. Because the way that this is placed, the Knight is going this way. They're exiting the energy. And you see the truth of it. I'm just saying. Coming to the near future, you got the Four Swords in reverse. So cause somebody coming back around that was taking a break. It can also be very... Um, Oh, restless energy. Somebody that can't heal, can't recover, can't rest, right? But it can also be somebody coming back around. And it's all revolving around either an air sign or somebody that's very detached and just not nice energy. You see yourself right now as the page of wands in reverse, not communicating with somebody. More fire, Leo, Sag, Aries. Page of wands in reverse is very, um, that energy of kind of lackluster. Not really excited about manifesting much here and not communicating with this energy what are they doing so in your environment the energy that they're bringing is the magician virgo gemini so we have gemini here too virgo gemini energy manifesting creating trying to whip up the energy to create what they want but you also have to be careful with the magician because the magician can wear a false mask the magician creates illusions all right, the magician is very magnetic. It's somebody that looks good, smells good, very charismatic. People are drawn. It's kind of like the king of wands in a way, or queen of wands. But the magician has all the tools they need. And it, sometimes it's not used for the best purpose. Or this person external to you is just manifesting something. Now, in your emotions, you have the queen of wands. So you could have fire in your chart. But also, guess what? This person takes action. And remember, it's because on your mind, you see the reality of the situation. So this is the person and the energy that's going to move forward. It's like your friend who says, get up, let's go, let's make shit happen. We're not going to sit around and cry about it. We're going to do. She's a doer. She's pushy. She gets shit done. Confident. And that's what's going on in your emotions. All right. Which is pretty badass. Now, the outcome is the two of pentacles in reverse. So two is about decisions, partnerships. In the reverse, guess what? We're dropping one of these burdens to regain stability and balance in our life. It's a breakup or it's dropping something that is setting you off kilter. All right, is what's going on. Because remember, that seven of uh, pentacles in reverse is the overall energy. Something that you deem as just a waste of time. You probably did invest in it, but now you're disappointed in, in what's become of it. All right, let's see what's up. So Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, August 1st through August 15th, 2019. The rain has stopped, you guys. It was storming, raining buckets. It was pretty cool. I actually like reading in the rain. Reading in the rain. Hmm. Maybe that's what I'll title my book. Reading in the rain. All right, Pisces, what's up? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What's coming in, you guys, for love? August 1st through the 15th. Show me Pisces. Regarding love, please. August 1st through August 15th. Pisces. Regarding love. One more shuffle and we're going to talk about this reading. We are. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, let's check it and do it and chat about it. Cutting, doing, and we're about to do some chatting. All right, overall energy with that seven of pentacles in reverse. Why? So why is this the overall energy for Pisces in love? What's the seven of pentacles in reverse? Well, it's the tower in reverse, Pisces. You're avoiding a disaster. You've stopped investing. You're no longer waiting. And you see something as a waste of time and a disappointment. And you're avoiding. Because you know it just wasn't built on a strong foundation. And you're avoiding it. All right? It could be a Scorpio. It doesn't have to be. Recent past, we got this Knight of Wands. Why is this here? Sagittarius energy. Why is this Knight of Wands in the past for Pisces? Well, look who's showing up again. The King of Swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. You could have gotten on that horse and exited from an air sign. All right. Or just, again, very detached from somebody. Maybe this person was cold, icy, not really about a commitment. Why is this King of Swords here in the past? Yeah, the Four of Cups in reverse. A missed opportunity. I think for the most part, could have been that they left. Um, but you know, I'm getting the feeling that maybe it was Pisces that left this person. All right. Coming in right now, we have the devil. Somebody's very, um, tied and bound, maybe even obsessed. What's this devil energy? There's toxic shit here. Capricorn energy, the Knight of cups in reverse. See, this is that energy of, I love you. I don't love you. I love you. I don't love you. Here's my cup. I'm taking it back. It's very almost, um, jealous energy, manipulative energy. Somebody that's not open to the emotion. They come, they go very unreliable energy. Um, and 
just getting the feeling, and that's your card too, Pisces, just getting the uh, feeling with this devil energy, somebody's very, it's just not nice energy, it's just, I'm not getting a good feeling about it, what's this Knight of Cups in reverse, the hanged man, hi, there you are, Pisces, Major Arcana for Pisces, stuck in limbo, the devil is very stuck energy and very much in limbo as well because somebody's taking their love they're bringing it back they're taking it they're bringing it there's jealousy here going on all right cards are just flying out pisces knight of coins wanted to fall out virgo capricorn for slowly exiting be responsible and careful i don't feel like it's you guys though that's tied and bound i mean it could be or stuck um, I mean, that is your card with the hanged man. You may feel stuck about what to do, but I think you've made up your mind for the most part. What's the challenge? Here's the page of swords. Why is this page of swords here? What is it? What is it now? The six of wands in reverse. This is very egocentric energy. Somebody that likes a lot of attention, but in the reverse, they're not getting the attention. Somebody's keeping an eye on you. I mean, it could be you, but I got to throw it around both ways, but I'm getting intuitively. Somebody's keeping an eye on you because you're not giving them attention that they want. All right. On your mind is the seven of cups in reverse. Why is this here? Why is this on Pisces mind? Seven of cups in reverse. It is the eight of coins in reverse. Yeah. You're no longer putting effort. Or work into a situation. You're not going to put your energy or time. You're done. You're not putting energy. You see, Because you see the reality of the situation. And that it's very toxic. And you're dealing with somebody that's very, very, um, I don't know, abusive, detached, not nice. Why is this eight of coins on Pisces mind? Justice could be a marriage. Maybe some of you have filed for divorce. I'm just saying justice sign of Libra. Because you want balance in your life. So you decided to put stop putting in energy and effort into this connection or this situation. Justice is about doing the right thing, too. You feel justified. It's karma as well. Situation. Why is all this happening? The king of swords in reverse. Why is this here? Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, energy. Yeah, the four of pentacles, four coins in reverse. Letting go of something, of somebody that probably wasn't real nice. All right. Or again, very detached, maybe not honest. Maybe abusive. I got to throw it all out there. But we're not holding on to it anymore. Why is this four coins in reverse? Lack of stability. The two of wands in reverse. No plans are being made for the future. No action is being taken. Again, because you guys on your mind, you've quit putting in effort. Now, coming into the near future, a Pisces, you're going to experience the four swords in reverse. Why? What is it? It's the fool in reverse. Sign of Aries. I feel, so like, I feel like somebody comes back around. But with the fool in reverse, uh-uh, not taking a risk. I'm not taking action. I'm not going to be made a fool again, which is the fool in reverse. Not taking a risk, being very cautious. What's this fool about? The queen of pentacles, queen of coins in reverse. Virgo Capricorn Taurus energy because you feel that this energy brings a lack of stability your way. It's not about commitment. It's not about long term. Okay. Also, too, there could be money involved that you're not willing to take a risk. Why is this queen of coins in reverse? Mother, wife, energy. Yeah, and look, we have the king of coins in reverse now, too. Look, we have a couple, and they're both in reverse. Okay, this is a disunion. Um, probably a very divine partnership at one point, but coming in, they're both in reverse. Somebody's coming back around, and I also feel like there's a lot of restless energy around this disunion. Okay. You see yourself as the page of wands in reverse, not communicating, not manifesting. Yeah, ace of wands in reverse, you've lost passion. You don't feel it. You don't see a new beginning, and you're just cutting the communication. You don't feel lively. You don't feel like manifesting or taking action. What are they bringing? Is the magician. Why is this magician coming in for Pisces? The world in reverse. See, I told you, coming back. This is a return, unfinished business, all right? This person's trying to manifest something, but I'm also getting the feeling that... And then the Ten of Cups in reverse just fell out. So marriage, unhappy, dissatisfied, depressed type energy. It's almost like this person, Pisces, like doesn't want to let you go. It's like, but they're wearing a false mask of some sort. They're coming back around because they're not happy. They don't want to see like the breakup of the home or the marriage or some shit like that. Or they're depressed. But the energy is uh, almost like an illusion is what I'm getting. Yeah, the Six of Cups. You may have um, children with this person. Okay, somebody obviously from your past, a strong-ass connection, or they feel like it's a strong connection, but why aren't they treating you well? Or why didn't they? 
Now, in your emotions, you have the Queen of Wands. Some of you have fire in your chart, but this is just you getting the confidence to move forward, I think, and make things happen. Why is this Queen of Wands here? And we, yeah, the Five of Wands in reverse, letting go of conflict. You don't want to do it. Five in tarot is strife and conflict, and the reverse is leaving it behind, making, uh, making progress and moving forward and getting your confidence and your zest back and just leaving any type of arguments, strife, conflict in the past. By the five of wands in reverse, the high priestess. There you are. Hi, what's up, Pisces? Major for Pisces, very intuitive, psychic, um, has the ability to manifest, to use their intuition. The high priestess is also very secretive and closed off, doesn't always reveal. Okay, so you may not be kind of showing all your cards. You may be very silent as to your next move, right? Now, why is this high priestess here? One more card on this high priestess. What is this about? And the emperor in reverse. Aries energy. Emperor can often be a husband, but in the reverse, this person's very stubborn. Um, they lack boundaries. They lack control or power over a situation, and they can be very, very difficult and very hard to deal with. Um, can be very narcissistic type energy, um, and you're just not having it. You're keeping things from this person, and it's probably like your next move, and you're also really honing in on your intuition. The outcome shows you dropping it. What's this two of pentacles in reverse? Why is this here for Pisces? Com. What is it? The seven of coins. Some of you might be waiting on money, stability in some aspect as well. The seven of coins is an investment. So, you know, I do think that you're dropping it, but I also feel like Pisces in the outcome here, you're kind of reflecting on the past and you might be waiting a little bit here um, to get stability. It's the sum um, or some type of money. Some type, you're, you know, there's waiting and there's reflecting here, but you definitely, especially with that two of pentacles in reverse, that can be, um, like money going out, right? Like a loss of money, like not being able to budget something. And it has to do with waiting and reflecting on an investment. Why is the seven of pentacles here? Why is this here? The knight of swords in reverse or Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy, putting a halt though. But also I feel like you're going to be very careful with your moves here. You're being very like almost like intuitive, strategic. <clears throat> the Knight of Swords in reverse is putting an end to drama and it's not acting on your impulses. It's just putting something to a halt. Why the Knight of Swords in reverse? The lovers, see Gemini energy. It has to do with the union. And it's also um, like a very, obviously a very important decision. A lot of Gemini energy here in this reading. Foundation, King of Swords in reverse. The lovers is making a very important decision, right? But it's using your head over your heart. Like you're going to be very methodical about this union and this choice. It's a decision. And then the Six of Swords in reverse. It can be also with the lovers and the Six of Swords in reverse. Again, I'm getting a sense that this person can't quite let you go. You know, and it's 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 strong, but it's just, it's not a good energy around it. I don't like the energy that I'm feeling. The Six of Swords is also, you guys making this decision and choice that really, with that Six of Swords in reverse, there's no resolution here, right? You can't get to calmer waters with this person. The Seven of Wands, and so you're going to be walking your own path, standing your ground, rejecting, blocking, being very, very defensive against this energy, why the seven of wands for pisces one more card on the seven of wands what is it judgment in reverse yeah a divorce or a lack of resurrecting something you're taking your power back and you're almost like putting that wand out don't come any closer you know it's being very very strong about it um and just not resurrecting this i do want to see why the tower is in reverse for the overall energy why is this here for pisces what's this tower in reverse what are y'all avoiding the chariot in reverse sign of cancer you're avoiding moving on you know moving forward with this energy because there's just no victory or success chariot in reverse is very stuck energy you guys know that it's stuck and that there's no victory or success tied to it and so you have to avoid this catastrophe right what do we have? Yeah, again, with the magician in reverse, somebody that's been manipulative or creating illusions, more Gemini energy, Virgo, a lot of Gemini energy in this reading of Pisces. But yeah, you know that something can't move forward because you've been dealing with some manipulative energy or somebody that's creating these illusions, this false sense of security um, to kind of keep you stuck and keep you around. And that's what I'm seeing, but I do see you guys putting up barriers putting up your walls and just not giving this another another go.